So the questions are, how can I know that I have gonorrhea? How can I know that I have gonorrhea in my mouth or in my inner passage? How can I know that I'm having gonorrhea but I'm not showing any symptoms? How can I treat gonorrhea? And what can I do to prevent gonorrhea? So these are the questions we're going to be answering because it has been on a lot of minds, on some of my viewers' minds, and I'm, a, I'm here to address it. Welcome to my channel. If you have been enjoying my content, show me some love by smashing that subscribe button and sharing with a friend. Let's roll in. Gonorrhea is another sexually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted infection. It is normally transmitted through body fluids, saliva, to fluid in the anus, to seminal fluid, and what have you. It is caused by the bacteria Neuroceria gonorrhea. It can be transmitted to oral sex, anal sex, vaginal penile sex. And it's even easily transmitted when you're doing oral to anal sex and you're using sex toys. So this is important for you to note. Now, what are the symptoms? Before I dive into that, it's good you should know that many people can have gonorrhea and have gonorrhea in their genitals and anal gonorrhea, but don't show any symptoms. We call that asymptomatic. And this is even more dangerous, just like chlamydia. I did a video on chlamydia, and you should watch it. Gonorrhea is another common sexually transmitted disease worldwide. So what are some of the symptoms that you should know? You have a greenish or yellowish discharge. The men have swollen testicles. You can have sores on your penis, on your vagina, your anus, and in your mouth. And to some people, it may give them mouth odors or blisters in their mouth. And you have pain during sex, pain during urination, Pain during sex for both male and female. Pain during urination for both male and female. Also, you have frequent urination in men and women. And also, you can also have bleeding in between periods. So sometimes you will not be able to know where this infection is coming. You may think that you're having an irregular cycle or maybe because you're taking emergency contraceptive pills or maybe because you're on a birth control, you may just think it's, it's normal. But sometimes this bleeding between periods is actually gonorrhea itself. Now, there are some things I want you to know about gonorrhea. Please, number one, protect yourself. Use a condom. Number two, make sure you get tested every three months if you're sexually active. Number three, please don't go kissing anyone anywhere. You meet somebody in the club and let's say you're aroused, you start kissing, you have oral sex on people without going for tests, both of you going for tests, you have anal sex, you use sex toys without sterilizing them. And remember that even though you may be using a condom, a male condom, it may not protect you fully. So make sure you use a female condom, a dental dam to help you so that if you are involved in anal sex or oral sex, you don't get the fluid in your mouth. Remember, we said that the mode of transmission is through saliva, seminal fluid, even a man's come can contain the bacteria that causes gonorrhea. Even a woman's squatting fluid can contain that seminal discharge. And 
why not try abstinence? Why, why not try abstinence to stay away from any form of STI? Next point, it can cause infertility in both male and female. To some extent, it can cause pelvic inflammatory disease in the female and causes the testicles to swell. And when they, and when they swell, they cause a lot of pain. Sperm isn't going to be produced well and a lot more. But if the female, she, she, she runs the risk of having scarrings in her uterus. Also, it is important that you should know that when you are pregnant, don't be having random sex and make sure your spouse has gone for screening as well, has been tested because gonorrhea can actually be transmitted from mother to child. That means if your husband is infected, he would actually give you and you give the child or he would just infect the child directly through his semen. It can be treated by taking antibiotics. And while you're taking the antibiotics, please abstain from sexual intercourse, even if it's protected sex. Just, just abstain because you still get involved in kissing and the exchange of body fluids. And during the treatment, make sure that you and your partner get tested and treated as well. Make sure you take the prescription as prescribed by the doctor. Please don't just go to the pharmacy and buy antibiotics and use. Make sure you have gone through screening, you have gone through consultation, and you are prescribed the right antibiotics that will eradicate this bacteria from your body. And if you're pregnant, make sure you don't take any antibiotics or any treatment without the prescription of your doctor because it can affect your baby. Some side effects of some antibiotics can affect your baby. It is very important that if you are sexually active and you have multiple partners and if you cannot practice abstinence, please, after every two months, go for checkup. Total, complete blood screening. And if you meet somebody who isn't conscious of their health, who doesn't love using any form of birth control or contraceptive condoms, milk condoms, please be very skeptical about that person. Because as an individual, you should be your number one protector. You should be able to protect your health. So if somebody is aloof and doesn't care about their own health, why do they think they'll care about yours? Please take care of your sexual and reproductive health. And make sure that if you're having any form of infection or complication, you handle it if you're still single. Don't wait until when you get married, then you start running from one doctor's office to another. Handle some infections, some complications, mild complications when they are at their primary stages. Don't let it increase and mature to a tertiary stage where it causes a lot of complications and it may cost you money and it may waste your time and it may cost you a lot of pain. So protect yourself. Thank you for watching. God bless you.